Welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're on the ground at CYOW with our United Express getting ready to set up for our flight to Newark. Sitting over here on gate five on the US side of the field, a gate I am quite familiar with. Now what's awesome about this is we're gonna set up our route using the Cockpit Master CDU. So let's go ahead, jump inside, and see how we've now got the Cockpit Master CDU working with Microsoft Flight Sim. So we've jumped into the cockpit of the CRJ and I just wanted to overlay the CDU. As you can see here, it's plugged in, it's powered up, coming off of that USB, and you can see that it is the Cockpit Master CDU. We have nothing installed from Cockpit Master because we're relying on SPAD.next for everything. So here you can see that the screens are matching. However, obviously there are different buttons. We'll get into the buttons and how we've uh, replaced things. You can just see how quick it is. Now, the only problem is there's a slight delay in the recording of OBS, uh, but when you're looking at the screens and you're touching it in real time, it's amazing just how fast it really is. So we want to go to init, we want to go to position init, and we're going to go ahead and grab our airport. So we're at the YOW, and we're on gate five. And so that's where we are, is at gate five. So we're going to go ahead, grab that, place it there. We're going to continue on to our flight plan. So we got, and we're going to go to so next up, let's go ahead and let's get to our departure. Let's go to At one four. Okay, we're taking one four. Okay, so we're taking one four at the moment. So let's go ahead back to our departure. We're gonna take runway one four. CYOW. We're gonna execute that. Awesome. And for our arrivals, uh, we'll be looking at twenty two right. So next page. Let's go twenty two right. Take the ILS. Uh, we'll go Agnes. So based on the chart, we're going to do the Flossy 4. So we'll use BAF instead. Fine. BAF it is. Execute that. So let's go to legs. We've got our vector. we got our discontinuity. So next up, we're going to want to go Rito. We want the T364. T634. Whoops, goes on that side. Direct Rito. Then we're going T634. We're going to get off of the T634 at Syracuse. And we're going to hop on the T608. We're going to get off at Albany. And we're going to go direct bath to our legs page, Rito. Burbu, Art, Mal, Pager, Syracuse, Stoda, Vasquez, Albany. And then we're going direct to BAF. So we're going to grab BAF. And we're going to pull BAF up. So 
So there we go. We've got all of that calculated. As you can see, this is fully functioning. It's working. It's tied in. It's pretty awesome. I think the most important thing to understand is this is not using any display outputs. The Cockpit Master is a USB connection and all the data is transferred over USB. Therefore, you're not coming into the sim and having to pop out a gauge and then drag that to another screen. Our performance significantly gets hampered when we've got additional screens and those screens are say driven on other monitors. So if we can take these screens and we can get rid of them, then our performance is not cut in half. It's a big, big benefit to what this Cockpit Master CDU is bringing us. Obviously you can get everything you would do via the GUI inside of it. And I think for fun, if you're just watching, you'll see you're hearing all the clicks and you're actually seeing all of the keys in the GUI going down at the same time. If you liked it, please go ahead, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, please come along some more. So hit that subscribe button. It'll help the channel out a lot. As always guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.